What's up guys? So today I have an unboxing video of this massive box. This is from Cult of Athena. Uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, they posted some mystery crates for sale and I jumped on it. And this is actually two of them. I went a little overboard. So this just got to me today using my uh, Westbeam EDC to cut it open. And let's see what we get. I've ordered a couple mystery crates from Cult of Athena before and I really enjoyed just the whole process of getting a box with you don't know what in it. They only had 10 at the time of when they posted these, but from what they said, they do plan on having some more coming in the next few months. So if you're interested, be on the lookout. They posted on Facebook when I saw these and I jumped on them. They sold out very quickly though. There's gonna be a whole lot of brown paper in here. It's what Cult of Athena is famous, one of the things they're famous for. And by the way, if you see my cats in here, I'll introduce you to them. They're probably a little afraid of all that noise, but at the same time, they're extremely curious about this box. So here's the first one. And it is a katana of some kind. It's got a tag on it. That makes it real easy to identify. Most of these are hard to identify. This is actually not so easy. It doesn't say off the top. It just says it's sharp. Well, thank you. I didn't know that. Now that is a tight fit. Might not be able to get this out right this second. I don't want to spend too much time. This looks pretty confident this is the Hanway Raptor though. It's got the Raptor Tsuba and uh, Katatameki wrap style I think it is. Which would be pretty cool if that's what this is because those are uh, pretty well regarded swords. But yeah, it is really tightly fit. I'm going to have to bang on that a little bit to get it open I think. I'm curious if that's the Nakubi Zakuri model because that's my favorite on a geometry and that'd be really cool if I got one of those. Next up, just looking at this bulge, this is a saber of some kind. Probably a Topeka, I would guess. It could be a cold steel. Generally speaking, you're not getting high-end stuff out of these boxes. Uh, it is absolutely slathered with grease. Made in India. It is actually a winless. Huh. I wasn't expecting to get any winless, and that has a massive warp in it. I don't know if you can see that. Check out that warp if you can. Wow. I'm going to have to see if I can bend that back to true, at least somewhat. So, Cult of Athena implied that these boxes were, these crates had a theme to them. So the fact that I've gotten a katana out of one and a saber in the other implies that I, that's the kind of style I'm going to be getting. But this looks like a typical European cross guard. And I can see a leather sheath in there, or a sheath. All right, it's got a Templar style cross on the pommel. 
and on the cross guard. My bet is this is a Topeka model. A very non-historic suspension system. And a pretty light blade. This is just a leather sheath, it is not a scabbard. Doesn't look like it has a maker's mark on it anywhere. Completely dull. I'm betting it's Topeka, like I said. It's almost certainly, it just has, has that look to it. Looks like it's pr pretty much straight. Grips in a rather long for a single hander, but not terribly so. <laughs> that, that doesn't even fit. That's not even remotely close to being fitted. That's just, uh, let's wrap some leather around it and call it a sheath. We got another European cross style. So I guess my uh, idea of katana and saber theme was wrong. This is a pretty short one. Ah, uh, yes. So when I got the previous mystery crate, I got one of these swords. That is, uh, I couldn't identify it. I could not find this sword anywhere on Cult of Athena's website, but I saw somebody else had unboxed their mystery crate and they got one of these also, so I kind of expected to get one here. This is just a very generic sword with a huge steel ball bearing basically and this will this is screwed on i could just unscrew it and when i did that i took the grip out and the grip was just horribly constructed it was the wood was falling apart basically so i don't expect much out of this i'm guessing this is basically the bottom of the barrel of what they consider functional i don't even know if i'd call it that I fully expected to get one of those in here. I might even get a second one since this is two mystery crates. And we got some kind of tassel here. It implies to me something Chinese. And I was right about that. This looks like a... I'm going to butcher this and I'm probably wrong about a Luedao? Luedao? Something like that. That's pretty nice looking. It's short. It's very... It feels nice in the hand. Is it sharp? It is sharpened. I don't know who makes it, but this looks pretty decent. Yeah, I am probably... So I do plan on reviewing most of these swords that I get. Certainly that uh, katana will get a review. I expect this one will as, as well. I've never, I haven't done a Chinese sword review on my channel yet, so I would love to get some of them on there just for the variety. All right, let's see what we got here. This is a long one. Feels heavy too. Ah, here, that's why it's heavy. It's a, it's a saber with a metal scabbard, and I, this is almost certainly a Topeka. Topeka Sabres, Cult of Athena's had a hell of a time getting rid of them. They don't seem to sell at all, which isn't very surprising considering Topeka's notorious lack of, uh, what's the right word? Notorious lack of attention to detail, historical accuracy, and just fit and finish. Like, so I'm not expecting much out of this, and it is jammed in this scabbard. In fact, this might even be almost an exact copy of one I, I actually recently sold on Craigslist. Just a, frankly, a cheaply made uh, United States saber of some kind. I am not an expert or even 
at all learned about Sabre, so I cannot even begin to try to identify the model. I'll look it up. I'll probably be able to find it on Cult of Athena's website and see what it is. Next, let's see. Got a very short one here. Very short. Very odd shape, too. This is... This is a tomahawk of some kind. It looks like, yep, American Tomahawk. American Tomahawk Company, right here, Taiwan. Not very American, is it? Still, that doesn't seem too bad. Is it sharp? Kind of. I mean, theoretically, it could be used for an as an axe, but man, that really does need to be touched up to actually be able to cut. It could chop. Definitely, but cut, no. Still, that's not too bad. Handle's got a teardrop shape. I don't know if you can hear that. It is, head's pretty loose. There's actually a screw, it looks like a set screw in here. Honestly, this probably could use to be shimmed and just a better handle construction. And this is going to be another axe of some kind. I'm betting this is going to be a Topeka Brass Heart Tomahawk. Might be a bit fake for that, but that's, that's my thought. Nope, not that one exactly. It is a pipe tomahawk, though. It's got the little pipe bit there. No, it's a different pipe tomahawk. Also Topeka, and the head is completely loose because it is not fit to the to the to it at all. It's actually got a tiny bit of an edge and really would need to be sharpened to actually be considered functional. But and obviously the head, the entire shaft, honestly, really needs to be redone. Something quite short here. This is going to be a dagger of some kind, I imagine. Well, is that a dagger or is that a spade? <laughs> Huge edges. Uh, that's actually designed as a single edge blade. Huh. This is, looks to me like a Topeka also, just the general fit finish. Incredibly blunt. Sharpening this would take hours and hours of work. Got another shorting here. Ah, this is a Devil's Edge bone handled Zippos. I've actually owned one of these before. I believe Cult of Athena is having a really hard time selling these, especially after Devil's Edge, uh, after their steel controversy. So I'm not surprised to see these in here. Generally speaking, though, even if they use stainless steel for this short of a blade, that's fine. That's fine. Stainless steel works for a 12 inch blade or so. It looks straight. I don't know. Wait. Nope. It's got a pretty good kink to it. I don't think that would affect it too badly, though. One of my cats is playing in the paper. If that's what, if you hear her, she's burrowing in and running away now. We got another one. This looks. I'm betting this is another Zephyrus. Yep, the exact same thing. This is what happens when you buy two mystery crates. You get duplicates exact same thing. Looks like the blade might be a little straighter, but it does have a kink to it also. I guess I could go full edgelord and dual wield Ziphos. <laughs> All right, next, we're getting down there. 
another very short, very narrow one here. This is another knife, single edge, sharp. This feels like a very modern material. This almost feels like a... No, it's not rubber. It fe it's a very odd texture. It might just be plastic. I don't know. No idea who the maker of this is. I'm going to have to spend a good amount of time on Cult of Athena going through their products and seeing if I can identify all this. This is a wire wrap that is ever so slightly loose. <laughs> and here we've got some kind of Zipho style grip, kind of, and yeah, I don't know what to make of it other than it's got quote unquote Damascus, which is probably means junk steel. It is sharp, it looks nice enough. Just a simple leather sheath, it does have some nice decoration on here, that's a nice touch. I'm guessing that's Devil's Edge also, but it might be something else. All right, this is going to be another saber. I can tell just from the weight, it's going to have a metal scabbard. And since it's a uh, saber, I'm expecting Dapika again. I am very, very wrong. Very wrong. Nothing at all like a uh, this. Ah, it's the Machowski chopper. I know I pronounced that wrong. I wonder if this is the, the windless version. I don't want to take it out of the plastic like this, man, because I can just see it slathered in grease. It is not sharp, unfortunately. This would be a fun one to cut with if it's sharp, I bet. Very square handle. Looks like I got maybe two more in here. Maybe a bit more, it's hard to tell. No, there's more. Another cross style. So this will be a European style sword. Viking inspired from that, cro or that pommel. Kind of small for a Viking pommel. Slathered in grease on that wrapped in leather or plastic. Let's see what we got. I mean, I guess there's a, it's Viking style, but oh my God, that is like a two millimeter thick blade with like almost no fuller. Extremely loose. Man, getting this down to an actual usable blade would take so much work with that thick of a uh, gun. That thick of a edge. I'm guessing again Topeka here. You notice my, uh, I kind of assume the low end stuff that I'm getting here is Topeka just because Cult of Athena has so many different models of Topeka swords. And they're. Let's face it, they are, generally speaking, pretty low-end swords, so I imagine they have a hard time selling them sometimes. So mystery crates are a way of thinning the stock. That's not to say Topeka doesn't have its place. Generally speaking, they work very well as uh, reenactment swords, because, or like cosplay, that kind of thing, because they're inexpensive and they look the part. It's just not really my cup of tea. That's not what I'm into for a sword. All right. Looks like another European cross style. My favorite style, of course. It's not immediately obvious from my YouTube channel. Oh no, this looks like it's some kind of bizarre hybrid.
with one of the chunkiest grips I have ever seen on a sword. What on earth is that? Wow. Um, yeah. That exists. I really don't know what to make of this thing. Looks like I'm down to my last run here. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. All right, last sword. Pretty heavy. I have a feeling it might be very similar to that last one I just got. Except the blade is certainly a lot thinner, so it's not that sword again. Well, I could be wrong, because that grip is identical. Yeah, this is actually the exact same thing, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I was wrong. It's the exact same sword. Again, I don't even know if I could, would call this a sword. This thing is so bizarre. Leather washer here has completely just fallen off because it's so deteriorated. Well, that's a rather underwhelming finish to the mystery box, but I got some good stuff in here. I'm especially intrigued by this katana because I'm pretty sure, like I said, that this is a Hanwei Raptor series, which is generally well regarded. Yeah, it's made in Dalian, China, it says, which is where Hanwei's factory is. Just wish I could actually get it out of this. So there we go. And it is the Unakubi one. I am happy to see that. That is a not a bad find for or not a bad uh, acquisition for a mystery box. This is a nice sword. It generally has very good reviews. So I'm excited to give a give a do a review of it myself and try it out. It's actually got pretty hefty tip to it, which is correct for an Unakubi, but not something you see on a lot of Unakubi uh, reproductions. Most of the time uh, when a maker does Unakubi, they also uh, combine it with Shogozukuri, which doesn't have the reinforced tip that Unakubi does. All right, guys, so whole bunch of swords. It's a lot of fun getting these mystery crates. If you are interested, I highly recommend keeping an eye out on Cult of Athena. Maybe follow them on Facebook so you can see when they, they're available. Just don't expect high-end stuff. Expect a lot of, honestly, just stuff they're getting rid of because they don't want it to deal with it anymore. And stuff that you probably need to put a little bit of work into to make functional. But, uh, be on the lookout for reviews for of at least some of these uh, swords coming in the next few months. Might be even longer. I've got quite a bit of a schedule already worked out. But until next time.